long after Esther became queen, it happened that two of the king's servants met secretly near the gate of the palace. I tell you, I can't stand it any longer. The king is treating me shamefully. Only yesterday, he humiliated me in front of the Egyptian ambassador. He had me whipped for forgetting to send up fresh pears for his breakfast. Let's kill him. Not so loud. I despise the king. So do I. Then you'll help me assassinate the king? You can count on me, Big Fan. But the plot of the two servants was overheard. And the thing became known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther the queen, who advised the king thereof. And the two chamberlains were hanged on a tree, and the thing was written in the book of the Chronicles before the king. Meanwhile, the power of Haman, the king's chief advisor, grew from day to day. Fear stirred the heart of every man who knew Haman, for they knew that he would misuse his power because his vanity was matched only by his cruelty. Strutting like a peacock, Haman delighted in seeing the people bow low before him wherever he passed. Back and forth, up and down. <laughs> Will Haman never weary of seeing us eat the dust of the street? Yeah, I scraped my nose on a stone. <laughs> Feels like a piece of raw meat. Well, the sun will soon cook it to perfection. Why can't he be satisfied with a bow from the waist? No, not Haman. He demands the full court bow. I thought it was reserved exclusively for the king. Ah, it was. Till now. Oh, no. He's huh? turning this way again. Oh. Haman's face became hard as a stone when he saw that one old man, Mordecai, did not even pretend to bow. Oh, Mordecai, you're a fool to trifle with Haman. He'll not let your defiance go unpunished. No, it is wrong to give such worship to any man. A double injustice to such as Haman. <laughs> it's not so hard, as long as the heart remains unbowed. To bow to Haman is to bow to greed and cruelty. I, for one, cannot afford your company, old man. Nor I. If your pride will not let you bend to Haman's power, then for your own safety, stay out of his path. Pride. Stubborn pride. Uh, too proud to bend his neck. <laughs> Thou knowest, Lord that it is neither in contempt nor pride nor for any desire of glory that I do not bow down to Haman. For I could be content for the salvation of Israel to kiss the soles of his feet. But I do this, that I might not prefer the glory of man above the glory of God. Neither will I worship any but thee. Day after day, Haman found an excuse to parade past Mordecai. Each time, the old man managed to look the other way. The sight of Mordecai standing erect when all others bowed low was more than Haman could endure. Day after day, his thirst for vengeance grew. Oh, how I hate that man, Mordecai. Why won't he bow to me like everyone else? I suppose it's because he's an Israelite. Well, I'll teach him a lesson he'll never forget. I'll have him put to death. I'll have every Israelite and the whole of Persia put to death. <laughs> and I know just how to go about it, too. What? You say someone conspires against me, Haman? Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Who dares to conspire against me? Uh -huh. Tell me, Haman. Are they within these walls? Uh, well, your Majesty, it's hard to be certain. <laughs> but it's perhaps beyond the palace gate where the real trouble uh, lies. Speak not in riddles. Uh, your Majesty, it's possible that I'm too hasty speak, to convince. Speak, speak! Uh, uh, there's a certain race of people scattered among the provinces of your kingdom whose laws and customs are different from those of Persia. Uh, Nor do they keep the laws of the king. No one can break my laws. No one! Uh, these accursed people are treacherous leeches who live off the misfortunes of your loyal subjects. Oh. They cause dissension 
and plant seed of rebellion wherever they settle. Rebellion? They take no part in our great religious observances. What? They do not offer sacrifices to the gods of Persia. Oh. Why, yeah. even now they laugh at the gracious king who showed them refuge and royal protection in our glorious Persia. And for your kindness and mercy, they give in return hatred, intrigue, and rebellion. Enemies. Enemies. Why was I not informed? No, I'm too trusting, giving all my subjects equal love and if, care. If it, uh, if it please the king, uh, let it be written that they may be destroyed. I will pay 10,000 talents of silver for the, uh, the privilege. Do with the traitors what you will. Here is my signet ring. Ah. You have my full authority. <laughs> oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thus Haman succeeded in tricking the king into giving him permission to put to death every Israelite, whether man, woman, or child, throughout the whole Persian Empire. Chapter 2 